welcome back to my kitchen. I know it's been a long time, but uh, we've got building works going on here. And you know, this is real life we're talking. It's not like, you know, I've got like some special kitchen to show you guys. And then another one to live in. It's where I live. I use, I film and uh, that's where you see. So at the minute we're doing building works. Hence it's taking quite a while to make videos. But today I've decided I'm going to make this anyway because it's taking just way too long. And uh, I want to make a pie. I want to make pie, meat pie as we call it in Ghana. And uh, so this is the ingredients I've got for you. This is uh, minced beef. Yeah, so pop the fire on. Gonna break this into little pieces. Basically, make the filling. This is what will go into our pie. So, I've got onions here. I'm gonna cut up onions, carrots, potatoes, ginger, garlic, and stock cube, and uh, black pepper, and some salt, some oil to uh, go in there so I'll be showing you as I cook you have to try and break this down so you have it like proper means you know you don't want it all clumped together it, it's not nice when it clumps together it, it, it goes a bit hard so just try your best and then so, uh, you can, as you can see, I've broken down the mince and fried it a little bit. So now, I'm going to go in with onions, ginger and garlic. The ginger is important. It just tenderizes the meat and make it cook a bit you know, quicker. So, yeah. going to cook this together for a bit. I'll cut up this to go in. Might as well put my uh, seasonings in. This is stock cube. I use the, uh, the prawn one. I've forgotten what it's called. I'll show you one time. And then some pepper. You can use black pepper or white pepper if you want. And a bit of salt. To your taste, to me. some people like things more salty, some people not. Yeah, it's up to you how you do it. Yeah, I'll lower the fire and I'll cut up the rest of the ingredients to go in there and I'll show you. Okay, so I've chopped the carrots and the potatoes. Earlier, we put in the onions, the ginger, and the garlic, and now. I'm putting this in and then we just go in with water. Just wash the plate. And then this we are giving the water to cook it. Really. So we've seasoned there everything. And now we just put the lid on and let this cook down. Let this cook till it's tender really. All the onions will disappear because, you know, it will mix up with everything. And yeah, I'll show you. The last thing to go in will be the corn flour to thicken it for us. So at the minute, I'll put the lid on it and we'll come back in about 10 minutes and I'll show you. Okay, so this is cooking away here. Still has got a bit more to go. You want it to be very tender so that, you know, it will be sort of looking mush, almost. Yeah. Not total mush, but, you know, soft. Chewable. So, it's been about a, mm, 5 or 10 minutes, between 5 and 10 minutes on here. And, uh, yeah. So, we will leave that go for another 5 minutes and then... We will come and uh, thicken it with that and then let it cool down. Whilst that's going on, 
we're going to make the pastry the pie pastry and uh, basically need our plain flour a bit of baking powder uh, this is butter 250 grams of butter melted here and normally I just go a bit of uh, cooking oil and uh, a bit of butter and then of course very cold water salt I didn't bring salt I need to get salt <laughs> Okay, so I'm using unsalted butter so that I know the amount of salt that goes in there. If you use salted butter, then you just have to, you know, taste and see before you add any salt. So basically, I'll be just going in with uh, Depends on how, you, how much you want to make, really. I think I'll be going in about 500 grams of flour. And then... A little bit of salt to be about maybe half a teaspoon of salt there and then a teaspoon of baking powder there we go one teaspoon of baking powder and then uh, our butter in there sort of short pastry so you know the butter and the oil is quite a lot you know I'm going in with about half a cup of uh, hands are clean so basically we just mix this together and then when it comes together this the last ingredient will be very cold water this is from the fridge actually this is not cool, is it? Because my but my thing is too small. So this is about half of it, which is uh, what's the name? Don't make a mess like I am but like this when the oil is coated all everything then you go in with the very cold water only in tiny pieces until you have it together really when it's come together you feel it really you just don't want it to be too wet sort of knead it together a bit you don't want to work it too much because if you work it too much too you end up with like you know a tough dough and that's not what you want really When it's all come together like this, next thing to do will be to wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes before you roll it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just... You still can see it's not really sticking together too much yet. That's exactly what we want. Basically your short cross pastry with a bit more fat in it than you know the one you buy in the shop already made or whatever yeah so i'll wrap this in cling film and then i'll put this in the fridge for the next 20 minutes whilst we wait for our uh, filling to be cooked and cooled so see you in maybe five when we wrap up the meat or the filling okay family so here we go our minced beef, potatoes and carrots are cooked. As you can see when you squish it, yeah, you see it breaks apart, yeah. 
it's cooked, potatoes is all cooked. So now to thicken it, I've mixed uh, about a quarter cup of corn flour with water here. What you see on top is just this bowl I used for the to melt the butter. Hence it's got this in it, but yeah, nothing special. You don't need to do it in that bowl, you can do it in a different bowl. So about a quarter cup of corn flour in there to thicken it so that when you use it as a filling it stays moist otherwise your filling will be a bit too dry by the time the pie finish cooking now this is a bit too like sticky so a bit too hard or what shall I say so a bit more water in there to break it down a bit basically five more minutes on the fire and it's done really now we will need to cool this down before we start our pie the pastry is in the fridge right now I'll give this about maybe two more minutes really and then uh, I'll pick it up and then cool it down So basically this is done and we're going to cool this and once that's cool we can uh, roll our pastry and fill it and then bake it. So I'll show you when it's when I'm gonna roll out the pastry. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> okay family so we are carrying on with the pie. We were waiting for our filling to cool down and then we placed the pastry in the fridge for about 20 minutes now it's ready I've rolled it out I didn't show you the bit of rolling out because I haven't got the best place to roll out as you can see my kitchen is like a bit you know all mush mush together so I've rolled it out and I've cut them into the sizes I want which is as you see here and this you can roll it to as thin as you want the pastry or as thick in Africa we sort of like it quite thick but because when I make it here is my husband going to eat it and he's gonna literally just eat the middle bit the filling bit and just ditch the pastry I don't like to roll it so you know so massive and thick but in Africa we really do like the pastry and we 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 we, we really want it quite thick on there so basically it's up to you as thin or as thick as you want it and then uh, basically you just wet the ends and then I don't know why we put the, 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 the holes on the top has to be three but somehow it has to be three you do need the hole on top so that um, it doesn't pop when it's cooking because the, the filling will be boiling in there and you don't want it to you know break up and destroy your pastry and basically look well I can't say shit <laughs> basically look bad so you do need the holes on top but I don't know why it's got to be three in Ghana so they always make the three I don't know it's how many you want <laughs> yeah so I've got to just carry on and just make these and yeah okay so I've gone ahead and just filled them and closed them, pierced the tops. And so now all I'm doing is glazing the top with one whisked egg, if I can say the word. I'm never able to say that word. And basically, this go in the oven 
and bake for about 25 to yeah about 20 to 25 minutes really and um, on about 350 yeah i'll show you when they are done okay family so here we go this is the pie right out of the oven and they look amazing you just have to be extra careful if your pastry is that rich like i did this you, you know if your butter and uh, or fattening that you use is lots then it means it's going to be very rich and so when it comes out you have to be extra careful i mean look at that it's amazing really rich pastry and the um filling stayed very moist as you can see that's what you want and so this is pie really and um, in ghana you how you find this on the street it's not very expensive and uh, you can buy this for lunch dinner whatever you want really and uh, it's not that difficult to make so why not try it i think other countries have it but they, they have different names for it and uh, Try it. This is the recipe. So try it and see what you think. Uh, thanks for joining me again. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like. If you don't like it too, yeah. <laughs> but thanks for joining me today. It's been uh, Didi in my African kitchen. Thank you.